One of the single most common questions I'm getting asked these days is this. Hey Dave, should I learn Python and Excel? And I'm going to cut straight to the point at the very beginning of this video to save you time. Learning Python and Excel is not, is not the right choice for most professionals. Now come on, be honest. You expect me to say that everybody should learn Python and Excel, right? <laughs> But think of it this way, there are an estimated 700 million or more Microsoft Excel users worldwide. And what percentage of these 700 million users do you think could benefit from learning Python and Excel? Maybe one out of 100? By the way, just so you know, one out of 100 is still 70 million Excel users. That's so many users. If you want to determine if you're one of the 100, one of the small percentage of Excel users that could benefit from learning Python and Excel, there are two questions you need to ask yourself. Question number one, do you want to differentiate yourself at work by delighting your stakeholders with analytics insights that nobody else provides? Maybe nobody on your team or maybe nobody in your entire organization. And just to be crystal clear on this, I'm talking about data insights that go well beyond, data analyses that go well beyond Microsoft Excel pivot tables and charts. So if your answer to this is a resounding yes, yes, Dave, I want to differentiate myself, then you should prioritize learning Python and Excel in 2024. In my 13 plus years of doing hands-on work in data analytics, I haven't seen anything as exciting as Python and Excel. Once again, think about that. One out of 100 Microsoft Excel users worldwide, that's still 70 million <laughs> users doing analytics and data science work in Excel. It's, it's, can you tell that I'm excited? As an aside, I need to mention this. One of the second most common questions I get these days is, hey Dave, I actually went to Microsoft, I asked for access to Python and Excel, and I haven't gotten it yet. What should I do? And if your situation's like this, don't worry about it. Microsoft, for some reason, has this weird process for granting people access to Python and Excel, and if you don't have it yet, you can still get started today. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a link to one of my other videos on my YouTube channel, in the description and in the pinned comment, and it can tell you how you can start building Python and Excel, Python and Excel skills today, excuse me, <laughs> even if you don't have access to Python and Excel. Did I say that correctly? Yes, you can get started today even if you don't have access to Python and Excel. That takes us to question number two. Do you see yourself pursuing a formal data role at some point in the future in terms of your career goals? Think of jobs with the word analyst in the title, data analyst, marketing analyst, supply chain analyst, or even maybe the mythical data scientist. If so, then you should prioritize learning Python and Excel. And here's the reason why. Everything that you're potentially going to do in Python and Excel, everything that makes it more valuable than what you can do with out-of-the-box Excel, is all the same things that data analysts and data scientists and marketing analysts and other types of data professionals do every day with Python. But let me give you some examples just to really cement this. So first up, uh, you're going to use Python and Excel to clean and transform your data with Python code using something called pandas. Data analysts and data scientists do this all the time. Visualizing your data with techniques that are not possible with out-of-the-box Excel. For example, maybe doing a violin plot or something like that. Another example is performing cluster analysis. You wanna cluster your customers or your patients or your insurance claims to understand if there's any underlying patterns or structures in the data. Do this all the time in data science and analytics. Uh, analyzing your data with linear regression. Classic example, or even maybe crafting machine learning models. Now, all of these things are stuff that you're going to do using Python and Excel. That's the whole point. That's the whole reason why Microsoft put it in the product in the first place. Now, what's really super exciting is that this revolution in Excel provides a path for millions of professionals to build hands-on data and analytics skills that they wouldn't normally have access to, and then apply that to any future goals they might have in terms of their careers. Imagine, for example, an interview in sometime in the future where you're interviewing for a data analyst job and you can talk to the hiring manager about all of the impactful data analyses you did at work using Python and Excel, using real world data, real world scenarios, real world benefits. And all that's going to be because you invested the time to learn Python and Excel. So if I'm super excited about the possibilities, I am. And if I'm irrationally exuberant, I apologize, but that's just the way I roll. <laughs> Honestly, I'm going to be completely brutally honest. If you answered no to both of these questions, then don't worry about learning Python and Excel right now. It's not for you. Maybe your answers might change at some point in the future, and Python and Excel will be there waiting for you when you need it. On the other hand, if you answered yes to either or maybe both of these questions, you should start prioritizing learning Python and Excel 
right away. There's no downside. It is a highly transferable skill. It allows you to do all kinds of cool and powerful analyses that you just cannot do in out-of-the-box Excel. Now, I'm going to say something here that's going to be a little bit controversial, but I'm going to cover this in a future video on my YouTube channel here. Trusty old Microsoft Excel in 2024 is the newest complete data science and analytics stack. You can do 75, 80% of what real world hardcore data analysts and data scientists do completely in Microsoft Excel now. So it's super exciting. 2024 is going to be a wild data ride. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a couple of tiles up right now. These are two other videos on my YouTube channel. These videos will tell you what you need to know to get started learning the right things in Python and Excel today, even if you don't actually have access to Python and Excel. So how cool is that? So there you have it. Until next time, please stay healthy and I wish you very happy data sleuthing.